We just paid $310 for this abandoned storage unit. Why? Because there's a sensory safe right at the front. Let's get into it. This one gets really sad and creepy and shows you the sometimes harsh reality of buying storage units. It's a funeral book. I just can't help myself when it comes to safes. This tire says so, right here. That was a lot <laughs> scarier than I thought it was gonna be. So we got a tire. What is this? A blow up cushion? <laughs> blow up. <laughs> it just hit me in the face. You wanna fight? Hit me first. That was self defense. You all saw it, right? It's on video. <laughs> Everybody's seen self defense. Let's see what's in the box. Is it just closed right here? Oh, it's heavy. So I'm going to say no. Let's open it up and check it out. I just see. Ooh, is that a jersey? No, just close, close, close. Uh, a little bit of like McDonald's straws at the bottom. That's kind of strange. Not going to lie. Let's just toss that box over there. This right here, this looks like it goes to that first thing that assaulted me. Maybe it's like a whole blow up bed and that was a blow up pillow. Like, yeah, get, probably. Get out. get out, get out, get out. It's not cooperating. You don't get a choice. Yeah. Go. All right, where do I go from here? Anywhere. This is pants. This is pants with something inside. It's like some strap, I guess. And then a little baggie that like, keeps the food warm in there. That stuff, I don't know what to call it. We all know what we want to get to here. We all know what we're trying to get here. That. <laughs> let's see what's in this first. Let's move this little white case or something in there. Yeah, there's definitely something in there. This, what is that? Let's see. That side's empty. It's like an electronic case. But there's two sides to it. It doesn't mean this side's empty. Okay, maybe in this case, but <laughs> what else is in here? That's not all that's in this pillowcase. Let's see. I'm gonna kind of dump it out here. There's a lot of cases. Let's see. Well, maybe I shouldn't have done that. There's something else in here too. This is a protection plan for something. Let's see, are these all glasses containers? Is that what's in there? Nothing. This one is definitely not glasses. It's mail, which obviously has, oh, that is an actual bank Whoa. envelope. That's a bank envelope with nothing. Ah. But that doesn't mean the other ones have nothing. We're this is, due for cash. <laughs> oh, they withdrew $1,700. I, I, does this show the number? Okay, let me cover this. Look right here. Look at the bottom. That's a $1,707 withdrawal. So maybe that's in here somewhere. You know, just cross your fingers with me. There's more paper in here. Papers, papers, papers. Is that all that's in there? That and this thingy. Other than that, I don't see much else in what we just dumped out. No, it looks like it's just a bunch of random stuff. What's this Epson thing? Is that designed for, so oh, printer ink. I want to point out two things before we keep going in the unit. Number one, the tire, I just assumed it was like an old crappy one, but if you look at the tread, it's actually like unused. So that's actually a good find. Two, at the bottom of the clothes box, there was this book. I was like, it's just a book. And then I pick it up. It's Death in the Afterlife, A Chronological Journey of Cremation, which I thought was just a little bit sketchy, just a little bit. All right, let's get this black plastic container right here out. I'm going to put it right on top of this other box because I'd rather not bend all the way down if I don't have to. Work smarter, not harder, people. This right here is, this looks like a bunch of junky paperwork, but because I found that, this is a car registration, because I saw that $1,700 withdrawal form, I am gonna skim through it just a bit. And of course, we'll go through it in a much greater detail off camera because we can't let some cash slip up. At the end of the day, cash is just paper too. Nothing in there, some light bulbs, and this is a bunch of cleaner. We don't wanna look in there. And lastly, it's just this Epson printer, an Epson XP-446. Probably exactly what that ink goes to, so that might be worth a little something. We have a gray pillow. You want it? No. Throw it this way. We have a white pillow. You want it? No. This way. <laughs> what is that? It looks dirty. You see this little case? Is that what it is? Yeah, it looks a little dirty. Ooh. Ooh, but I like the sound of it, I'll tell you that. Let's flip it the right side up. You ready to see what's in there? Yeah. Let's see. Money! Well, it's definitely money. And... Some questionable activity device right there. I'm gonna call that a questionable activity device. <laughs> Along with a bunch of pennies and a token. Yeah. It's been a while since I found one of those. Yeah. That's the new name. Can we, everyone go in the comments and put down, what did I just say? Questionable. Something device. <laughs> Questionable activity yeah, device. There we go. Activity. Questionable activity I'm like, device. Like, jeez, my short term memory. I'm not gonna lie. When we came here. <laughs> this made me nervous. I'm kind of scarred with the last unit because of mice. But the guy said this is from the drill. If you line the door up, I lined it up. Yeah, the drill, the drill, the lock went right through the box. So <laughs> that made me feel a lot better. Cause yeah, I don't like mice. We're done Let's with Let's see mice. what's in here. Ugh. Feels like clothes, not gonna lie to you. Rip, you stupid tape. All right, let's see. 
It looks like clothes galore. All of this. I see something hard. What is that? Hey, a drill in there. A Black & Decker drill. Does it work? <laughs> well, it had a little bit of juice left. It was like, <laughs> So we got a drill in here and more clothes, but I'll check the other side. All the clothes like this, we will just donate. Is that another printer? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Another printer. Anything else down here? No, all the rest of it is closed. Just finished using the bathroom and secured my ticket of never being back allowed in this building, if you catch what I'm saying. <laughs> but let's keep going through some more stuff. Let's all go right. in this little tote, this dirty old tote here. This one looks like the personal picture tote. Pictures. Pictures, 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 and more pictures. Side this side. one, yeah, we'll definitely leave it behind so they can get that kind of stuff back. Let's pull out this basket. Sure. Ugh, maybe, maybe. Yeah. Ugh. Okay, it works. That's a nice couch in here, by the way. Usually I'm like disappointed when I see furniture, but it looks like it's in like really good shape. Let's see, plugs, randomness. An ice scraper. It's, it's getting close to winter now. Is it all closed again? Why is there so many clothes? Whoa, 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 whoa. What? Over here. What was that? Look. Handcuffs? Handcuffs. Okay. Let's just open this up a little bit now. It's got my interest. <laughs> Let's pull some stuff out of here. Glasses container. Empty again. Where does this guy keep all his glasses? Not in the container. Is this an actual trash can? It actually does seem that way. Look at this. It's just like actual, uh, some clothes. It looks like garbage. There's some garbage mixed in with clothes. I don't see anything else other than that in there. Then below it is nothing. This pillow, I'm going to go ahead and use it as a top for this basket because okay. I'm innovative. Innovative. Now let's take this and set it on top of there. You see, this is what it's all about. This is the American innovation spirit they're talking about. Innovative spirit right here. Pillows on top of baskets. That that looks like all cleaner. Not exciting. That one too, are these dry? Yeah. And there's our yard sales customer's favorite item to find, the long extension cord for a dollar, which is where that one will be going. I think that may be an apple box in there. It's a white box, so we'll see in a second. On oh, that white bag? Yeah. Okay. Another pillow, another pillow. Ooh, I see another case back there. Is that a lock box too in there? Look at that. Ooh. It's definitely looking interesting in there. Throw yeah. these out the way. Is anything in here like an actual laptop lead? Well, no, a bunch of paperwork. Anything right off the bat? No, just papers, 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 papers. Again, we'll definitely look into it in more detail. Off the camera, because I don't want to bore you with it going through 40 envelopes. Set it there. Now let's see. Is this what I think it is? It looks like it has some weight to it. Ooh, it does have weight like to it, but it's not a itself. apple. Let's Boo. see what it is. Well, it's something. All right. Let's see what this something is. It's a book. Get out. Oop, it's an in memory. It's a funeral book. So this will be something again that we leave behind with the pictures. Let's see if that's everything in this bag here. Oh, is that what I think it is? I don't know. I don't know. It's taped shut. You think they wouldn't tape shut an urn, right? I wouldn't think so, but since they stored it and they like set it on the ground and it was flat. I'm just going to look in the side. I don't... What if it's something else? Mm, nope, that's somebody's cremated remains in a baggie though. So they'll get that back. I don't understand how people store somebody dead. That's just so weird to me. Other than that, no, this whole thing here is like a memory thing. So we'll make sure again, they get all that back. That urn actually belonged to the brother of the owner of this storage unit. So of course we gave it back to the manager facility who then assured us that they'll get this back to the owner. So sad, but crazy. Now, what is this here? Is this a carbonated? Stream. It's one, I feel like I've seen on the commercial a million times and I never actually seen this other stream. This little thing, ooh, it's got some cards in it, but it's a bank card, yeah, Kroger card, health insurance. This is all more personal stuff that we'll set back over here for the old owner to get back, but look what I see. Ugh. Oh, you hear that? Yeah, that I is do. most definitely not <laughs> empty, dang it, but that's just something to look forward to let's see what this is right here i don't want to slam it because last time we slammed on we shattered a pocket watch that was inside of there yeah. so i'm gonna to try to avoid slamming them for now i'll just try to drill it let's see what this is a couple washcloths that's it literally just some washcloths and is that a receipt yeah and a receipt and an instruction manual that's so random so i'm noticing on top of the couch there's that like tan book bag up there also this bag here i honestly didn't think there's gonna be nothing in this one but there was when i pulled it i felt weight wall it's usually razor uh, just the razor head more freaking paperwork anything in here nothing this is just more papers and papers and papers and papers meh you can have all that back that's personal in my eyes <laughs> now let's see oh if i can get this down right here 
Come on, big suitcase. Come here. Come here. Oh. Well, oh, there it is. Let's see what's inside this guy. Where is the zipper to open it? Anything in there? No. Nope. No. What about this one? No. Probably shouldn't reach into it after we found that device. I swear these suitcases always make you feel like an idiot. There's way too many zippers. Like, what's the point of adding an extra zipper to give it like an extra inch of space? Um, nothing in here. Nothing in there. But it's overall in good condition, so definitely an easy sale. Let's see what's in this black case right here. Definitely doesn't feel empty. Nope, doesn't sound empty either. What's that? That is a Surf On universal laptop charger. Where's the actual laptop? Not in here. What about the front? Come on. No, no laptop either. So let's just set this up here. I see another interesting looking bag down here I wanted to get into. This white one right here. Let's see what this is. If I could open it. Come on. It's not going to cooperate with me easily, is it? Oh, no. There it goes. There it goes. There it goes. Yep, see? <laughs> Took a little bit of effort. It's just a few books. Dang it. Alcoholics Anonymous book. Something tells me you need a little something more than AA. Hey, dude like this doesn't seem like an alcohol problem uh there's its address and stuff in there so again just books and mail this bag right here feels like ooh, actually there's some stuff in there it's not clothes. i was about to say it looked like all clothes but i definitely feel something in here that doesn't feel like clothes this oh lunch box but i feel like there's more in there a neck pillow probably for a plane uh is that all i felt that is all i felt so this right here is just clothes what about this what is that i don't know Looks like maximum capacity for lifting 300 pounds. This can lift 300 pounds. Okay. That's pretty powerful. That thing. Now I can possibly get into this tote up here, which looks like, ooh, it's heavy. Like it's all closed. Why is this guy's clothes so heavy, man? Like they're just extremely heavy. Clothes are just heavy. Yeah, but usually not like this. I feel like this dude's got like bricks hidden in his clothes. We're definitely gonna look through it before we donate it and whatnot, but from what I can see, it's all closed. Let's get into this box now, but guys, don't forget to leave this video a like. Come on, you know you wanna see what's in that safe. I know you do. And subscribe if you are new, because well, we buy storage units all the time. And the time this video comes out, we may or may not have, depending on if it gets canceled, have one of the co coolest storage units of our life. Cross your fingers for us, it didn't cancel. Here's a box inside of the box, which has like pencils, things like that, pens, markers. This is just a little address book. This is a little calculator. Is it a TI? A TI 36. It's probably nowhere worth nowhere near as much as the 84s. So we'll just set this aside. And let's dig into this one. Is this one all closed too? I mean, it's going to be a lot of clothes that we're probably just going to donate. Like I said, unless there's something new or it's a jersey or something that's like worth a lot, lot, just donate it. All I see on this side is a little journal and whatever this is. Is that a shotgun shell? No, it's a vape. It does look like a shotgun shell like that though, doesn't it? American flag mask, goggles, and a journal with virtually nothing written in it. Let's get into the next big old blue box right here. Ugh. It looks like clothes again. How much clothes does this dude have? And don't you have anything else? Uh, looks like it's definitely going to be clothes. The brand on this dress shirt is Peter Miller. Dress coat loves people. Do you know what that is? Or if it's a good brand, let me know. This box is not trying to cooperate with me. Is it all dress clothes? It does look that way, doesn't it? Yeah, seriously. It's like dress clothes and dress shirts all the way to the bottom. Like, I own a polo. One polo if I need to dress up and go somewhere. That's it. That's all I own. And I haven't worn it in years. Wow, that's a lot of dress clothes. So we got the pair of crutches we saw at the beginning of the unit. Just forgot to move them out. That'll go to somebody for free at our yard sale. This right here, let's go to a tote instead of a cardboard box and see if we can see something other than clothes. Doesn't look that way. Oh my goodness. Why does one person have this much? Is it all like dress clothes again? It seriously is, like all the way down on both sides. I'm hoping that then they own this much dress clothes and suits, that maybe that means they had a good job. If they had a good job, maybe they had money. If they had money, maybe they put it in the safe, but then the other device we found earlier kind of points to not having money, so I don't know, we'll see. Let's look in the little tote now. Can you give me something other than clothes, please? Eh, it looks like a mix. I see papers though. That's not exactly what I was looking for other than clothes. This looks like dog <laughs> stuff. Dress clothes again. A little Jeep or Ford Ranger 2006 owner's manual. Got some CDs. Got a book. And papers and papers and papers and papers. What is this all? What is this one? A certificate of appreciation for personal commitment and dedication. Uh, papers. 2013 McAfee antivirus. This is all paper. About to pull up the next box and I'm just gonna say, if this one's all closed, then I'm punching it as hard as I possibly can. Ugh. Well, I see something that's not closed, but 
It definitely looks close to all closed. What the heck is this? I don't even know what this could possibly be used for. It's something it art. Vinyl. Okay, vinyl, wood grain, white. Okay, that. At least this looks kind of like a leather jacket. Uh, Kenneth Cole leather jacket. At least that's decent. Anything in the pocket? Let's look, let's reach in a pocket. No. Is this all closed below it? That is literally all closed. Let me look at the other side just for a little glimmer of hope that there's something not all closed. It is all closed. So I just went ahead and took those two totes over there out of the unit and moved them because you'll never guess what's in them. All closed again. But now we got some of these things and a disgusting thing in the back that hopefully there's something in. Let's go to the Walmart cart. I don't know how you obtain this. I almost went down. Why do you have that? <laughs> I almost went down. This is hospital stuff. Not gonna mess with it. Fios, is that what's in there? No, it's just more mail. Lottery, ooh, some fake ear or AirPods, but they're not in there. The wire is, but the earbuds aren't. What about in here? Ooh, a phone. There's something, a Verizon Galaxy J3. At least this will give us some info. A BMW car key, that's a good sign. Here's another phone of some sort. I don't know what it is. You could tell they tried to put in an eco ATM already. Yeah. It's probably stolen, not gonna lie. It could very well be. This right here, these gift cards, these are all gift cards. Oh my God, There's look. another stack in there too. They're all sheets and uh, Visa gift cards. This There's is glass. So. Ooh, that's not good. But this is, oh my goodness, we're gonna have a lot to check. <laughs> yeah. Wawa, they're all gift cards. Every Yay. single one of them is gift cards. That'll make the drive home fun. Oh, here's the case to the fake AirPods. They might be in there. Nope, not in there. Let's pull this out of here. Anything else? Uh, no, no, nothing else in there. Just gonna set it back in here. A pair of shoes, oh, nice Nikes. They're in pretty good shape too. Both of those are in here. And then we have this pair down here, which are Sperry's. And they're both in there too, so not bad. Out of all those gift cards, there was one $10 Walmart card and one Wawa card with $14. These seem a lot more fun. Let's see what's in these plastic, I don't even know what you call them, milk jugs. This looks like, what is that machine? Probiotic, oh, it's one of those like nebulizers. So this is all medical stuff. We're just gonna set that one here and just pull out the, there's two green ones in here. Not a milk jug, by the way. What? The not a milk jug. Milk. Milk. Crate. Crate. There we go. Thank you. Uh, that's nothing but, well, junk. I'll look in this in a second. Other than that, I'm seeing junk. Anything in here interesting? Come on. What are all these? Social security card, birth certificate, keep your baby well. Yes, certificate of live birth again, a Dominion energy bill, uh, emergency notification, old ID, passport. This is prime example of what you send back to the other owners. So we got a white pillow, a white pillow, frame of some sort. What is that? Okay, we'll get to that in a second. What is this? Uh, a Russian vodka from the USSR. Cool. <laughs> That's pretty cool, actually. And the frame looks old. Look at the back of that. It's either a reprint or they've kept it in like spectacularly good condition. I'm gonna hope for B. Let's see. What is this? That's sitting all the way in the back of the unit. Whoa. All right, now you've got my attention. How does it open? Oh, right there. Yeah. You ready? Yeah. Let's see. What is that? Gift accessories. All right, so we got these. There's nothing in here that I could feel. <clears throat> these, what's it say there? Made exclusively Things for, remembered. Uh, are, these, are these customized? Yeah, they got their marriage things on it. Weirdly enough, they got together April 2010. Uh. But 17 days later than us. <laughs> so that is nothing in there. Because it's personalized though, we'll make sure it's, we give it back to the old owners. Oddly enough, the last crate just has one black case inside of it it's already open so well matches the other one it does match the other one nothing in there so i think the only thing locked in the unit are the couch and this bag let me try to slide down in here like this and a little paper shredder box okay i'll look at all that in this right here unfortunately ooh, that looks like a cash bag it's hard to say all paper but let's see what that is oh this is full of cards and stuff again let's see i'm gonna sit on the floor can you see me down here? Yeah. Yep, sliding on down. Let's see what this is here. This is a whole thing of cards and things like that, but I think these are like the actual personalized ones that they're no good to us. And yeah, it looks like that's what this is pretty much full of right here. So we'll set that aside. Make sure I don't see anything else interesting in this bag right off the bat. Again, we'll dig through it in more detail later on. Just a quick run through like this. I just saw one that had money amounts written all over, but now I can't find it. But again, We'll dig through it. Let me look in this bag before I go to this thing. Open up, you. 
It's not cooperating. Nothing in there. All right, let's look in here. This is a paper shredder with shredded paper. Nice. <laughs> this Fair is, um, well, this is, it looks like a bunch of chargers, laptop chargers, things like that. Is there anything else over here that I can't see? No. Ew, this thing's gross. Let's open it. Well, actually filed, unfortunately, on the top. Let's see a CD thing. But yeah, on top, it looks like it's actually paperwork, unfortunately. And on the bottom, these are disgusting. I'm gonna have to burn my hands off when I'm done with this. This is, unfortunately, more files. So, you can see the nice couch behind us, but you all wanna hear the same thing I wanna hear. Let's go home and let's break open the safe and see what's inside. So I got the safe and I got our first method of entry. Let's see if this will work first. The drill, I'll put this safe for, you know, good luck. On top of the last safe we busted open that was empty. We haven't went to the dump yet. You see both of them are still out here. This is kind of becoming a little safe graveyard. <laughs> You think this will go through it? Should. Let's try it. It looks like it's going through, just not fast, huh? Yeah. Did we just bust it? Should I try to go a little further? Maybe a little bit. I think we're in there. All right, now reverse and come out. All right, let's see if that was as easy as it seems. Did we just break the lock? Mm, maybe not. Hmm. We broke right through it. Maybe it needs the crowbar to pop it. Let's try that. So we found our other crowbar right here, but we also found this that came out of the last, you know, we bought with the massage stuff. And I felt like that's like the perfect size to fit in there. But the only thing is it might not be strong enough to hold. Like it might bend the thingy, you know what I mean? Yeah. Let's see if it'll do anything. Yep. <laughs> that's what my fear was. So easy. It bent it right down the middle. Well, okay, now we know that's not an option. Let's see if the crowbar, this one, will fit in there. That's the question. That's the question. Will it? Uh, I don't think it's going to either. Maybe we can drill through these latches. What do you think? Try it. <laughs> what, what's the worst that could happen, right? Yeah. Well, what if it's like the other safe? I wonder if we have to break this open to be able I don't to. Know. I'm just gonna try to go straight down here. Well. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if we broke it. I don't Doesn't think that look did like anything. It. If we could break that, I think we'd open the safe. All right, so we're getting the crow. There it is. You ready for this? I'm pretty sure if I bend this down, we'll pop this sucker right open. All right. Let's do it. Yep. There we go, I think. Maybe. I think you're inside the door. Really? Like, you can see. Pull it up. Oh, I'm not even in the actual safe. You gotta go a little bit further down. Uh, what the heck? But I wonder if this is possible. Like, try to stand on it. It's too strong. You can't, ready? I'm just gonna hit it hard. Okay. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Did we get it? Yeah, I think so. Hey! Yeah, you ready? Yes. Oh my god, no, it didn't. No, really? Okay, no, it's still open. I was about to say. <laughs> no, what the heck? All right, well. A lot of cards. I see a lot of cards. This is a debit card. That's uh, part of the safe, probably. I'm guessing part of the safe. Oh, there's jewelry, I think. We have to take this out. The lighting's horrible. Is it? Yes. Can you see any of this? I can see what's in your hand. All right, that's fine. Let's do this. This has got all the shaving metal on it from the lock. You see that? Yeah. So that's not good. Let's see if there's anything in this envelope. Come on, baby. What is that? We want the money. Marshall Springs. Uh, This is a court. You require this is a, um eviction notice. Ooh. There's that. There's cards. There's another envelope. Let's see if there's anything in this one. No. What about here, here? There's a cash envelope that is empty. Dang oh, it. no, there's something in there. What is that? Oh, you troll. Dang it. What was you it? You troll. $2,000. Trolling me like that. There's that. Then there's a bunch of personal cards. And then... There is more. 
Personal cards galore, a pair of glasses, and a thing of chapstick. Well, that is what happens with most storage unit safes, but they're always fun.